Camera Maker GoPro is one step closer to becoming a media company. Now, it's announced a new channel on streaming media player Roku, and that's expected to launch this spring. So joining us now to discuss this plan, this content creation, is Kevin Navapore. He's Senior Vice President of Strategic Content at Allison & Partners. Kevin, thanks for joining us. Great to be here. Let's talk about GoPro's plans. I mean, what is the company up to? Well, it looks like this is just one extra step in how in the growing trend of companies trying to become media companies, um, pro ones that are traditionally product companies. Frankly, it's the, the most effective way for companies to develop ongoing brand relationships with their consumers. So GoPro is, is doing, you know, on top of what they've been doing to date with Xbox and with Virgin in flight, um, they're looking at other distribution opportunities for their content and leveraging the success they've seen on YouTube and their other channels at driving a ton of viewers. And I want to dig into that a little bit more, but first, let's talk about what kind of content is actually going to be available on Roku. Well, right now, it seems like early reports are suggesting it's mostly um, on-demand and original content and with a mix of user-generated content. So it's really interesting to kind of see this merging within this particular channel. Um, I think the opportunity is really going to be on what they can do on top of that. So that most of their content has always been traditionally like geared towards those thrill seekers, the, the stunts, the, the extreme sports. What I'm more interested in seeing is what can they add on top of that because that's how they're going to grow their audience beyond that core group that's already seen them on YouTube. They want to see something else from them. Frankly, there's quite a bit of competition right now on the Roku um, uh, device as it is. So you've got a lot of sports programs, you've got a lot of entertainment programs like HBO and Netflix. So they're going to need to compete at a higher level for them in a, in a programming way for them to really kind of gain a lot of traction. And so you just took the words right out of my mouth. Who is the competition going to be for GoPro on Roku on some of these streaming media devices? But digging back into to a comment you made just earlier, how mm -hmm. important it is to create content and sort of reach out and, and get that brand, I guess, stickiness yeah. and through more viewers. I mean, we're seeing this with toy companies, we're seeing this with tech companies, we're seeing this with Amazon, um, and now of course we're seeing this with GoPro. Uh, mm -hmm. How important, it seems to me this is almost like, it's almost native advertising, the next iteration of it. Yeah, you're going to see companies now instead of asking, should I become a media company, to how do I become a media company. Um, Red Bull, Coca-Cola, these brands have done an exceptional job of being able to expand the category um, when it comes to what they're known for and because of that they fostered a deeper relationship and more engaging content. This, this allows them to, to get to become a more consistent presence within their consumers' lives. So it's not um, it's not something that we're going to see go away. If anything, we're going to see it, you know, companies try to find ways to duplicate those types of successes. It's really fascinating how this is shifting for these companies into their own content creation and becoming media companies essentially themselves. Kevin Nabapur, always great to see you, always great to speak with you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching. I'm Morgan Brennan. Have a great day.